Okay, what's up guys? This is going to be a complete uh, digital library update or video, I guess. Not an update, just, you know, a showcase, I guess. These are all my digital movies. Uh, I use Vudu when I talk about digital. I, I, I used to use iTunes, but those are since merged into my digital now. And um, um, it's just easier to use Vudu, in my opinion. I have a lot of movies. Well, I don't have a lot of movies, but I've got a bunch of movies that I've purchased through Vudu. And since... Um, I typically use Voodoo, and I use I share Voodoo with my family and friends. Although that function is not as ideal now for whatever reason, they don't let you share so much, especially now that UV is done. Um, <coughs> excuse me, sharing is a lot harder to do. But anyway, what do you care? Anyway, here is my complete um, Voodoo library. I think I've got actually what to say here. I have four hundred and twenty-eight movies in my uh, video library. I'm going to show you my um. My TV, too. I got a wish list there, too, but I just haven't added to that. But uh, let's talk about movies first. And, uh, well, this is my purchase order. I'm going to put it in A through Z because that's easier and more of, like, a, an actual showcase. So starting from the top here. And I'll mention if I remember if they're mine or if I'm sharing them. I share with uh, my brothers and my dad. And then I also share with a friend of mine, uh, Sam, who I'll mention a couple times. So I think Sam is the one who gave me 10 Cloverfield Lane, um, or we're sharing Cloverfield Lane. It's actually got some bonus features on here, too. Cool. I don't think I've watched this. I have the, the Blu-ray, so I haven't seen that. But that's cool that he's sharing that. And I've got 21 Jump Street, uh, 30 Days of Night, Rob Zombie Film, <coughs> excuse me, 31, which I have not seen yet. But, you know, apparently I've started it, but I guess I haven't seen it. Um, anyway, I don't want to... I've got too many movies to go through every one here, so... The Accountant, Ali, Alien Covenant, All the Money in the World, All the President's Men, Spider-Man 1 and 2, Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2, American Maid, American Psycho, American Sniper, American Ultra. I haven't seen this. I've heard it's not okay. It's got a 42% or whatever on Rotten Tomatoes, but I think my dad said it was good. I don't remember. An American World in London. I've got that a couple times now, I suppose, in digital and other forms. Annabelle 1 and 2, um, Annihilation. <coughs> Excuse me. Another Earth, Apt Pupil, Aquaman, Arctic. That was actually really good. I recommend that to anybody who wants to watch like a standalone film that could just be like, it's basically two characters in the entire film. Maybe three, I don't know. But it's really cool. Mad Mickelson does a fantastic job. Whoops, whoops, push that one too. Yeah, I have as good as it gets too. I've had that. that was from my um, iTunes, I think. Argo, Arrival, which is awesome. As good as it gets. Assassin's Creed, I think that's something that Sam's put in there. Atomic Blonde, The Autopsy of Jane Doe. I really liked this film. I thought it was pretty um, creepy. Um, I recommend it if you got it. I think I got that for five bucks on Voodoo. I think. Baby Driver, Babylon AD, uh, Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3, Bad Boys, Batman, the original with uh, Jack Nicholson, Batman Ninja, Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's something that Sam put on there. I actually watched that. It was pretty cool. I didn't mind that at all. Uh, Batman v Superman, the extended and the theatrical cut, the ultimate edition, I guess. That movie is better with the extended version, but that's not saying much because the, the movie sucked anyway, but whatever. Uh, Batman Return of the Cape Crusader. I actually think I don't... I have no idea where I got that. I might have bought, uh, traded that with somebody on Blu-ray.com. Batman Retur Dark Knight Returns 1 and 2. I think that's Sam that put those on there. Batman the Killing Joke, which I have... I must have put this on here with my... um. Steelbook purchase. Um, I don't think I would have bought it separately, and I was actually disappointed in this film. I thought it was a little a letdown. Apparently, I had the Mr. Bean movie. I must have gotten that for free. Hmm. Beats of the Southern Wild, The Beguiled, uh, Behind Enemy Lines, Better Watch Out, Big Hero Six, The Big Short, Bill, uh, what's that called? Billy Lynn's Long Halftime Walk, which is forty percent. This is a Ang Lee movie, isn't it? I haven't seen this, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Birth of a Nation, Birth of the Dragon. Oh, that's Sam again, I think. Black Hawk Down, Black Mass, Black Swan, Black Coat's Daughter, which I think is called F December or February. It's called February in the UK. I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, Blade Runner 2049, Blair Witch, The Blair Witch Project, Blind Spotting. I got that for five bucks. I haven't watched it yet, though. It was five bucks on sale. I'll do that sometimes unless add a movie if, I, if it's $5. If I'm even remotely interested in it. 
Uh, Bloodfather, which I thought was overhyped personally. I thought it was okay, but it wasn't as good as everyone was talking about. Born Legacy, which is an okay action film, but kind of a mediocre born film. But anyway, The Boy, The Boy and, and the Beast, is that what it's called? I got this from Sammy too, I think. I haven't seen that though. But the English version and the Japanese version. Brooklyn, Bugs Life, Bumblebee, Cabin in the Woods, Civil War, Captain America, or Captain America Civil War, whichever it is. Carol, Cell, uh, all three of the... Uh, what's his name? Neil Blom Blomkamp? What's his name? Neil Blomkamp, yeah, that's his name. Elysium, District 9, and Chappie. All three of those movies. Uh, District 9 is easily the best of the three. Elysium is alright, and Chappie was just kind of misguided, I suppose. It, was, it wasn't terrible, but it wasn't as good. Child 44, uh, Child's Play. I bought that for five bucks just because I, I don't even know why. The Cinderella remake, Clown, uh, Cold Day of Night. What the fuck is that? That's, I must got that for free. 4%. Okay, yeah, I got that for free. Cold Pursuit. I just watched that like last week or two, and uh, I didn't think that was bad at all. It was okay. Weirdly funny. Um, Colossal, Coming to America, which is a great Eddie Murphy film. The Commuter, Concussion, Conjuring 1 and 2, uh, Creed 1 and 2, Crimson Peak, The Crow, Cube, Cure for Wellness, The Danish Girl, uh, The Dark Crystal, Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises. I don't have, I don't think I have Batman Begins on here. I'm, I'll already pass it if I did. The Dark Tower, which sucked. I don't, I don't know a lot about the Dark Tower series, but I just know that this was a bad interpretation of it. Nikolai Arcel was the director, but that, I feel like this probably should be a TV series, and I believe it is a TV series. It's going to be anyway on uh, Amazon. So I guess that's there's some hope for it still. Darkest Hour, which was Gary Oldman doing his thing. And honestly, I don't remember anything about the film besides the fact that Gary Oldman was in it, so I don't know. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, Deadpool, Deepwater Horizon, The Descendants, Detroit, the Disaster Artist, Dog's, Pur Dog's Purpose, don't Breathe, Dope, Downsizing, Dread, which is awesome. Everyone should watch Dread. I wish they made another movie, but it's been seven years now. It's not happening. Drive, Dunkirk, E.T., Edge of Seventeen, Epic, which I have no idea where I got that. Equalizer 1 and 2, good, mil good movies. I like the first one a little bit better than the second one, but I think that's the consensus anyway. Escape Plan. This is funny because I actually thought I was buying the Escape Room. And I read it too quickly. The guy was offering it for two bucks. I was like, oh, this guy's buying, selling this for the escape room for two bucks. And I bought it, and it was this movie. And I just thought, nah, it's my own fault. I didn't do enough research to make sure I knew what the movie was called. But I've heard the movie was okay. But I haven't seen it yet. Everest, which <clears throat> was good, but I feel like I don't need to watch that again. So I'm glad I got the um, digital copy of that. The Evil Dead, I think that's... Yeah, UHD. I must have traded that for somebody. Ex Machina... Extremely Loud, Incredibly Close, Eye in the Sky, which I think was um, Alan Rickman's last film that he made. It was surprisingly tense. Not bad. Helen Mirren's in it, Aaron Paul. Uh, Ian Glenn. Bacard, Barcott Opti's in it. And it's a lot of pretty good class of characters. That was pretty good. Talking about terrorism and stuff and using drones and, 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 and then uh, to attack things. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Give it a shot. You can probably get that for five bucks now. Fantastic Beasts 1 and 2. I liked the first one. The second one was... Meh, I don't know. I don't know what the hell happened. Fan Four Stick, which was awful, of course. Fantastic Mr. Fox, Fear, Mark Wahlberg. Uh, Fences, Fifth Element, Fight Club, First Man, First Perform, my favorite film of last year. I liked it a lot. I thought it was cool. First Man I recently saw, and I thought it was kind of boring, but it was all right. But that's just me. Five-Year Engagement, Focus, The Foreigner, uh, The Forest, The Founder. The Founder was pretty cool. Makes you really... Kind of hate Roy Kroc, whatever his name is. Yeah, Roy Kroc, Ray, Ray Kroc, sorry. But uh, pretty good movie. Free Fire. Free Held. Friday the 13th, the remake. Frozen. G.I. Joe Retaliation. Get Out. I think G.I. Joe is uh, Sam one, too. Get Out. Ghost, apparently. Which is only in standard definition, so I got that for free for sure. Uh, Ghost Rider, Spirit of Vengeance. That's also, I think, from Sam. I haven't seen that. I heard it's awful. Ghost Ship. I like Ghost Ship. I don't care. Ghost Story. Ghost in the Shell, the remake that was not bad, but just completely unnecessary, in my opinion. Uh, Ghostbusters Answer the Call, the theatrical standard, I have not seen that. I've heard 
it's bad, but I, I haven't seen it, so I don't know. The Gift was pretty cool. Girl and Dragon Tattoo remake was pretty cool, but they're, they're and they should have made more with those actors. The new one, um, Spider's Web, was just meh. The Girl on the Train, you think it's a remake? I'm not sure. I haven't seen it. Glass, which I'm, if I'm gonna be honest, I thought was kind of whatever. It was all right, but you know, whatever. Uh, Gods of Egypt, Godzilla, the remake. Well, I guess the new versions. Good Time, a good Robert Pattinson film. Gravity, good Sandra Bullock film. Great Gatsby. I actually do not know if I've even seen this. So I got a 40%. I didn't know that. I think I've seen it. I don't remember anything about it. Plus, maybe I haven't. Okay, Green Inferno, Green Room, awesome. The Gray, awesome. Green Inferno, by the way, is just kind of whatever. I bought the fucking Screen Factory of it, but I probably shouldn't have. Grizzly Man, Guardians of the Galaxy, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, The Guest, Hacksaw Ridge, Hail Caesar, Hannah, uh, Bundle of uh, Hannibal and Silence of the Lambs, Happy Death Day, Hard Target, uh, Hell or High Water, which was really good, Hellboy 1 and 2, the good ones. Um, I saw, I have the new one with uh, David Harbour, but it's just... There's no life in it. I don't like it. It's it's okay. It's just not. It could, we could have had Hellboy 3. It would have been so much better. Hellboy, The Golden Army, it's just an awesome movie. The first one's not bad, too. Yeah. Hercules, I uh, don't know if that was me or Sam. I watched it, and it's just whatever. It's, you know. Fighter Terry, which is awesome. Hidden Figures, which I've had for years, and I still haven't seen. I've heard it's good, but I just haven't felt like watching it. Uh, Hold on 1 and 2. Horrible Bosses 2. I have Horrible Bosses 1, like, just in Blu-ray somewhere. But, uh, I think I've seen that one, but I haven't seen this one. Hotel Artemis. I did see that. It was okay. <clears throat> I Smell Back. Uh, Sarah Silverman film. Ice Age. Ides of March. Imperium. In Good Company. Which is a, a fun film. Me and my wife watched that when we were younger. And it came out, uh, 2004. And, uh, it's got some nostalgia to it. It's kind of a dumb film, but it's fun. In the Heart of the Sea, which was surprisingly cool. I liked it. But... It's forgettable. Inception, Incredible Hulk, Incredibles, uh, Independence Day, and then Independence Day Resurgence, which I still haven't seen, but I've got the digital and the steel book. Inherent Vice, I still haven't watched this either. I heard it's alright. The Intern, Into the Forest, Isle of Dog, Isle of Dogs? Isle of Dogs. I thought it was Isle of Dog. It's Isle of Dogs, apparently. It, which is awesome, of course. It comes at night. I don't care what Chatty Bobby says. It's I still like that film. It was alright. Like he calls it Shit Comes at Night or something. Italian Job, Jackie, uh, Jason Bourne, which was just kind of meh, I don't know. It was it was fine. Jaws, John Wick, John Wick 2. I'm gonna add John Wick 3 to this once I get that in a month. Joy, The Judge, Jungle Book, Jupiter Sending, which was dog shit. I don't think I even finished it. Yeah, I only got halfway through it, apparently. <laughs> Maybe it gets better. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park World. Oh, Jurassic World. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't even seen the second one yet. I still haven't. Justice League, which was dog shit, honestly. Justice League Dark, which was not dog shit. It was awesome. I recommend that if you get a chance to see it. Cool anime film. Justice League Flashpoint Paradox, which, again, I think these two. Justice League uh, New Frontier as well. I think uh, Sam put those in. I've seen neither of them, but I've heard Flashpoint is good. Kick-Ass 2, Kill Bill 1 and 2, Killing Them Softly. Uh, King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, which was just kind of okay. Uh, King Kong, I think that's Peter Jackson's King Kong, right? Yeah. Overlong film, but not bad. King Kingsman films, uh, The Secret Service, which was good, and The Golden Circle, which was just, I don't know. It wasn't, it was, I don't know, it wasn't good, really. Kong Skull Island, which I liked. Um, it was okay, actually, I guess, but I liked it. Uh, Krampus, which is awesome. Kubo and the Two Strangers, which is awesome. LA-92, I got this for free on Voodoo. Just, it's a documentary about the riots, I believe, in 92. In LA. Lego Batman, which I was surprisingly... I thought it was good, but it's forgettable. <clears throat> These Lego movies are getting kind of overrun now. Lego Movie, Labyrinth, Last Exorcist, Last Witch Hunter, Legend of Tarzan, which... I, I saw it, obviously, as you can see here, but I it was... Terrible. I didn't care for it at all. Very forgettable. Lethal Weapon. I must have got this for free, too, because it's, yeah, it's standard def. <clears throat> uh, Life. Lights Out. Lionheart. Live by Night. The Lobster, which is an absurd little fucking like romantic movie, kind of. But not really. But it was alright. I liked it. Lock, which is a really... It's just... It's Tom Hardy in a car driving from one location to another. 
but it's surprisingly tense because he's calling. There's a whole infidelity thing in there, and it's, it's really interesting. I liked it a lot. I, I recommend it. I just stick with it. It's really well done, I thought. I recommend it a lot. Very good. You wouldn't expect it, but it is. Lockout, Logan. Logan Lucky. Surprisingly, it's what do you call it? It's um, it's uh, like Ocean's Eleven, but like the redneck version or something. I don't know. I liked it a lot. Pretty cool. Lone Ranger, which was just kind of boring. I don't know. Lone Survivor. Lord of the Rings, of course, is awesome. One, two, and three. They're not in order here, but whatever. Loving. I still haven't watched this, actually. And now I'm probably never going to. Based on a interracial couple in the in the Virginia, I think. Yeah. In the 50s. Apparently good, but, you know, I'm not probably going to watch it now. Mad Max 3 Road, of course, is awesome. Mama was okay. Eh. Man from Uncle was not bad. Wish they'd make a sequel, though. But they're not going to. Man of Steel, of course, that's not a bad movie, in my opinion. Manchester by the Sea. Uh, I, I liked it. I think it was a little overhyped. It was okay. The Martian, uh, Avengers, Mastic Men. I think that's also standard, right? Yep, I got that for free. Men in Black. Uh, was that the first one? Must be, yeah. Midnight Special was a nice uh, little sci-fi film from, uh, what's his face? Jeff Nichols, starring uh, Michael Shannon. Oh, that was cool. Uh, all five of the, well, all six actually, about Mission Impossible, I guess. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six. I think my favorite is still three, but uh, Fallout was pretty good. Moana, Money Monster, Moneyball, The Monster, Monster Calls, Moonlight, awesome film. Morgan, I haven't seen it. Mr. Holmes, I really li wanted to like this film. It was just kind of okay about an aging Sherlock Holmes and he's losing his wit. The Mummy, which was just stupid. I didn't like it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Murder on the Orient Express, Mr. Science Theater 2000, the movie. I always liked this film. It's not necessarily as good as some of the other episodes, but uh, I watched this with my family back in the day from 96, yeah. And it's always funny. It's this Island Earth is just a stupid film. It's just great for riffing on. Never Been Kissed. I think this is also... Oh, it was upgraded to HDX, but uh, that, I got that for free. The Nice Guys was an awesome little film, actually. I need to watch it again. They should make a sequel to that, but they probably won't. The Night Before. I think I got that for free from... Or maybe I got, I got that in a trade from somebody for a long time ago. Ninth Gate. I don't know what it is about this film, but I can always watch it. I think I just like this, the setting of it, going to Rome like that, or Italy like that. and I don't know. I can always watch it. Not necessarily a great film, though, but, you know, I like it. Nocturnal Animals, a goofy little weird film. Uh, now You See Me 1 and 2. Those are, I don't even like those films. I don't even know why I have them. Office Christmas Party, I don't think I've seen that yet, but I have it. Once Upon a Time in America, I bought that for five bucks, and then I saw that it was, like, 15 hours long, and I and I watched, like, half an hour of it, and it's already, it only shows, like, a blip on there, but it looked interesting, but I just never finished it. But I have not seen it, so I don't know. Only the Brave was not bad. I liked that. Uh, out of the Furnace, I don't think I ever actually finished that. No, I didn't, so I, I, can't, I have no opinion. Overlord is awesome. Everyone should see that. Oz the Great and Powerful was an okay film, but it got kind of full of itself or something, I don't know. Pain and Gain is surprisingly good, in my opinion. I liked it. What's his face? Michael Bay. For 2003? Oh, I thought it said 2003, 13. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Paranormal Activity, I don't, I don't care for those films. Passengers is a movie that could have been so good, but was just not handled right. Patriot's Day was good. Peanuts movie was 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 cool and nostalgic, but it's also forgettable. Perfect Storm, Personal Shopper, Pet Cemetery, the original, Phantom Thread. I've watched about half of this. I think yeah, I liked what I saw, but my wife wanted to see it, so we're gonna watch it again at some point. The Place Beyond the Pines is a good film, a little long, but a good good film. Um. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, of course, that's a great film. Poltergeist, Extended Cut, the remake. I have not seen a second of this, but uh, I think I, again, I think I traded it for somebody. Uh, it's apparently not good. Pop Star, Never Stop, Never Stopping, which is a funny little Lonely Island film. The Post, which was all right. I liked that. Prayer Before Dawn was a pretty cool little film about a guy stuck in a prison in Thailand who had a drug habit. It's pretty cool. It, 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 it sounds kind of dumb, but it's, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, and that's an A24 film, too. Prisoners is awesome. Producers, I think I got this for free. It's HDX, though, but I, it, I get it for free. I forget where I got them. I think it's when I first got my account on, um, what was the Best Buy one? Uh, Cinema something? Cinema? I don't know what it was. Best Buy had their own thing, and I merged it a long time ago, and I think they're gone, too. Just, uh, my movies now, uh, movie 
Buoys anywhere and Voodoo left. I think. Flickster's long gone. I used to use Flickster. I don't anymore. Anyway, Prometheus. I still like Prometheus, although it just doesn't make any fucking sense. Psycho Remake. Uh, again, I think I got that for free, even though it is HDX. But uh, that's not, also not a very good film. Purge Election Year, which I thought I had the other Purge on here too, but I guess not. I watched the first three. They're okay. The Quest, which is a dumb fucking little film from Van Damme, who directed it too, by the way. Which I did not know that until I watched it last year again. But uh, it's it's okay film. It's a dumb film, but it's fun. Quiet Place, which is awesome. The Race, which I have not seen. The Raid. Uh, with, uh, Rambo 1, 2, and 3. Um, Rango. Ready Player One, which is good. Red Heat, which I haven't seen, but I bought it for a couple bucks because it was like part of a deal. Red Riding Hood, Red Sparrow, Resident Evil, all six films. I've only seen the first two, but there's a bunch more. Revenant, Rise Planet of the Apes, Road Warrior. I'm going to have to go a lot faster than this because I'm, I'm talking too much. Roman G. Israel, The Room, or not The Room, Room. This, the Room is a very different film. Uh, Rosemary's Baby, Safety Not Guaranteed, Salt, Swing, Saving Mr. Bl excuse me, Saving Mr. Banks, uh, The Secret Life of Pets, Seeking a Friend for the End of the World, Serenity, Seven Psychopaths, Sex Tape. Yeah, I got that for free. I haven't seen it. I, I'm assuming it's not good. The Shallow, Shape of Water, Shazam. Shazam was fun. I actually liked that. My, that's probably my favorite DC film now, which I think everyone's saying. Shin Godzilla, the English and the Japanese uh, versions. Uh, Shot Caller, Sicario 1 and 2, Silence. Silence was a surprisingly good film, I thought, considering it's not typically Scorsese's forte, but he did a very good job. All the acting was good. It was a, it was a great story. I liked it. Recommended. Sinister 1 and 2. I've only seen the first one. I heard the second one was not as good. But uh, I have them both on here. Skyfall. Skyscraper, which was a dumb fucking movie. But I knew that going in, and I still thought it was dumb. But whatever. <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman. I, I've seen it, but I don't remember anything about it, so that tells you that. Snowden, which was not that bad. It was okay. I think that's a What's-His-Face movie, isn't it? Isn't that uh, Oliver Stone? Yeah. It was okay. The Snowman, which was a fucking... If anyone knows the story about that, just read, look up on it. They didn't even finish the film when they when they filmed it. They they didn't have enough script or something. It was fucking just a joke. That could have been so much better. Spectre, which is kind of forgettable, honestly. I don't remember anything about it, but I've seen it. Spider-Man: Homecoming, Split, Spotlight, Star Trek: The Remake, and uh, Beyond: Into Darkness. So I've got all three of the new ones. Uh, the Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. I, I didn't mind The Last Jedi. I understand if you did not like it. It does make sense with what happened in it, but I, I still liked it. Uh, Steve Jobs, Still Alice, Stir of Echoes, Straight Outta Compton, Street Fighter, Sudden Death, Suicide Squad, which sucked. God, it sucked. So fucking dumb. I, ugh. And of course, right next to it is another is a good film, Suicide Squad, Hell to Pay, which is a good animated film. I recommend that over either cuts of Suicide Squad movie. This is so much better. Seriously. Check that out instead. Sully, Sunshine, Surf's Up, Swiss Army Man, which is a weird fucking movie about a guy finding a dead body and he's like talking to it and turning it into like a trumpet and using it as a fucking go-kart or I don't know. It's a funny movie. It's on Netflix. Give it a shot. Taken 1 and 2. I liked the first Taken. The second Taken was... It was all right. Whatever. And I haven't seen the third one. I heard that was dog shit. Tangled, which was surprisingly cool. I liked that. Ted 2. I don't have Ted on here for some reason, I guess. Whatever. Ted 2 is just dumb. Ninja Turtles. Th I think this is the second one. Both of them kind of sucked, but, you know, whatever. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Terminator 3 the Machines. Terminator uh, Salvation. And Terminator Genesis. I have all except the first one, I guess, apparently. And those are all varying degrees of dumb to good. Theory of Everything. The Thing, which, of course, is the best movie ever made. Everyone knows this. Thing remake, which is of course an affront to humanity. I actually didn't hate it that much. It's it's not terrible, but it's unnecessary. This is the end. Thor: The Dark World, which is the worst, probably, well, easily the worst Thor movie and one of the worst uh, MCU movies. But you know, uh, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri. I liked the movie, but I feel like it was really hyped, and then it went went through the Oscars, and then no one talks about it anymore. It's just kind of one of those movies. It was okay though. Good acting. Tomb Raider, which was surprisingly all right. Total Recall, which everyone likes that. Total Recall, the remake, which was dumb and terrible, and I, it was stupid. I didn't like it at all. I don't know what the hell. I feel like animosity towards it. I don't know why. 
uh, The Town, Trading Places, which is an awesome, it's like a Christmas movie. I like this movie a lot. I recommend it. Eddie Murphy and uh, Dan Aykroyd. Really cool. Trainwreck, uh, all four of the original Transformers movies. I haven't seen any of them beyond um, Revenge of the Fallen. I've heard the other ones, well, I've heard Dark of the Moon was alright. Age of Extinction looked like garbage and apparently was complete garbage. I know I said Bumblebee already, and I thought Bumblebee was okay, but that's different, I guess. Tree of Life, <clears throat> Triple Nine, which was kind of a dumb... Well, it was, it was okay, but it was kind of a forgettable, like, heist movie. Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. Under the Skin, which I really liked that film a lot. Um, it takes kind of a... You have to be in a certain mood to watch this, I'd say. ScarJo is very good, and it really... Her, in this movie, kind of put her on the map for me to saying that she's actually a really good actress because it required a lot from her, and she did a good job. Plus, she's completely new in it, if you like that. I mean, I kind of did, so. And here's one through five of the Underworld movies. I think they're not making any more of these. I've only seen the first three, I think. Maybe just like Resident Evil, I've only seen the first two, but there's more, and I haven't seen them, but they're apparently not great. <clears throat> Excuse me. I haven't talked this much in a while. <laughs> Unforgiven, Up, Valentine's Day, The Visit, The Walk, Wanted... War for the Planet of the Apes, Warcraft. I was surprisingly... I liked this movie. It was not bad at all. And I don't know much about Warcraft. But uh, it, it didn't do so well in the theaters. And I'm sure it was probably expensive. Watchmen, We Bought a Zoo, Werewolf, The Beast Among Us, What's Love Got to Do With It, Whiplash, Wind River, The Witch. I love The Witch. Again, Teddy Bobby, sorry. You're, you're wrong. Which is great. The Wolfman remake, Woman in the, Bl the Woman in Black, which I thought was okay. I haven't seen it in a while, but I liked it. Wonder Woman, the other good... WB film. WB film. Well, yeah, but DC film. At the World's End. I've, I've seen it, but I don't remember anything about it. Wrong Turn 2, uh, X-Men Apocalypse, which was garbage, honestly. First Class, which was not bad. You Were Never Really Here, which was good, but I don't remember much about it. Your Name, which was an excellent Japanese film. I recommend this to anybody. It's great. Great film. I've only got the English language version, but it's good. <coughs> Excuse me. And then finally, I've got Zodiac and apparently Mother at the very end here. Is it because it's lowercase? I don't know. Why is this at the end? Hmm, that's weird. And that is all of my my movies on Voodoo. Let's go back to my TV now. Let's do this quick. <clears throat> Let's go to A to Z because whatever. I have the first three 12 Monkeys seasons. I've seen the first episode of the first season and I haven't seen anything else. I literally watched that like a week ago. I've had these for like months now, but I just finally watched an episode. It was okay. American God Season 1, which I liked. I haven't seen Season 2 yet. I'll probably get that when I get a chance. Banner Brothers, which is, of course, required. Everyone should watch this. It's an awesome movie. Awesome, I mean, awesome series. Uh, Big Little Lies. I got this in a trade from someone on uh, Dewar.com. I haven't seen it. Or Season 2. I have the entirety of... Uh, Black Sails, but again, I haven't seen anything about these. It's apparently good, but I haven't seen it. I'll catch it up on some time. Catch up on it at some point. I can't even speak. I've got three standalone seasons of Boardwalk Empire back when I was adding them individually, and then I kind of stopped. And I have like an episode of Boardwalk Season 4? Not even? I have like an invitation to... I've got, yeah, this, I've got a couple making ofs. And... Oh, do I actually own Season 4? Oh, I do because I own the other... Yeah, because I have the bundle and save, so I've got all five seasons. That's weird. It's a good show. I recommend it. HBO shows are usually pretty good. Okay, season four of Bob's Burgers. Season one of Counterpart. I've watched an episode and a half of that. I liked what I saw, but I think it just got canceled this last over the summer here on Stars. Um, I only had two seasons, so I don't know if I'm going to get into it. Deadwood seasons one, two, and three. Awesome show. I just watched the movie a few months ago, too, and it was pretty good. Expanse Seasons 1, 2, and 3, awesome, awesome sci-fi show that got dropped by sci-fi and then thankfully picked up by Amazon, and I cannot wait for Season 4 coming out in December. Fargo Seasons 1, well, actually, it's, I think I just have an episode. Is that what I have here? I have, like, a single episode. The first episode. Um, I do think I have Season 3 on um, Amazon. I bought it on Amazon, but you can get it on... Hulu now, if you've got Hulu. I think all three seasons are on there. Great show, by the way. Free season four, apparently. Uh, I must have got this back when I was buying the seasons. I just kind of threw it on there. And Game of Thrones season five, I think that's something that Sam put on. Game of Thrones, oh. What could have been? Still a little hurt by that. 
Hannibal season 1, 2, and 3, the complete series, basically, until they actually bring it back, if they ever do. I love that show, too. Matt Nicholson is amazing. Happy season 1 and 2. Season 1 was great. I, have, I, I like that a lot. I've only watched, like, 10 minutes of the first episode of season 2, but I've got both seasons. Again, I bought that for, like, 5 bucks on, like, a sale. In fact, I should mention that uh, seasons 1, 2, and 3 of The Expanse, I bought for, like, 5 bucks each on uh, Vudu because they have sales like that on sci-fi shows a lot. And so that's where I got, again, 12 monkeys, 5 bucks each. Awesome stuff. House of Cards Season 2, uh, an episode of Legion, apparently. I got entirety of the Night of, the first, the well, the standalone season, not the first season. I like that show, too. Two seasons of Nurse Jackie, the first season of Outcast, which I don't think I've seen any of. Preacher, one episode. Season 3, Rick and Morty. Seasons 1 and 2, the complete series of Rome, which is a good show, again. Sharp Objects, uh, I've only seen the first episode of this, I think. Maybe I've seen the first two, I don't know. I liked it. I'm going to keep watching it. All of The Sopranos is arguably my favorite show ever made. I, st I love The Sopranos. It's, I think everyone should check it out. It's a great... Uh, like the, Because it started in 1999. Um, I, I always like to say that there'd be no Walter White or anyone else without Tony Soprano. And it's a great show. And apparently had one episode of Trust. Must have been one of those free episodes. And then season four of The Walking Dead, apparently. Back when I was still watching this show. I have not watched the last two or three seasons of this show. But... Um, you know. And that's it. Here's my wish list. Um, yeah, I don't care. But that's it. Lots of stuff on here. Uh, like I said, I've been buying digital copies for a while now. Uh, and I really do like doing it. It's so much easier to just uh, click a movie on Voodoo or something like that and watch it. I mean, I, I'm still hardcore. I'm going to keep collecting physical media as long as I'm able. But, um... It's nice to have options like this. But anyway, guys, that was my entire collection. It took a while, a lot longer than I thought it was going to take, like a half an hour. But uh, thank you for sticking along with me. This was fun. Uh, let me know if you even liked this. this uh, let me tell me how this turned out. I think it's recording. If it didn't, I guess you're not going to see this. But um, anyway, this app is, uh, I think it's called Record This, Record It on iTunes. Not iTunes. Well, the iTunes shop or Apple shop, whatever store. Anyway, so if you want to try that out, give it a shot. But, um, you know. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again later. I'll talk to you later. Bye.